Uh, you know, in sports, a lot of times people say it's not about the money, but it's a little bit about the money. And for some players, it's a little bit about a lot of money. Forbes has put together a list of the top earning male players in the history of tennis. The top four, it turns out, are the big four currently in men's tennis. And we point this out because with Djokovic skipping the second half of the year due to injury, Roger Federer is now just $500,000 wow. total behind. He's going to leapfrog back ahead of Novak Djokovic. Paul, just parenthetically, what uh, was your cut of the 109 million that Rogers won? I only took 63 percent. Oh, that's very nice of you. So it's uh, Novak, Roger, Rafa, and Murray. You know who number four, is, uh, number five is? Is it Pete? What cut did you get from oh. Pete's 43 million? The same 60s, a low 60s again. <laughs> out of his he 43 million. All right. So now it gets interesting, and it, obviously the prize money has increased over time. Andre number six, and then maybe some people you wouldn't expect. Did you wow. know David Ferrer? was the seventh highest earning man. Not uh, This is of all time. Show us number eight. Number eight is Stan Wawrinka with his three Grand Slam titles at 30 million. Number nine, this is the big shocker for a lot of people. Tomas Burdick is the ninth highest grossing player in the history of men's tennis. And drum roll for number 10. Wow. From 30 years ago, Boris Becker won so much that he made $25 million. He's I in guess the top he started team. winning Wimbledon at 17, so what, a long career? But that is kind of surprising because obviously the prize money at the majors it's has gone up so much. Yeah. $2.7 million to win this year as we saw Sloan receive her check. <laughs> um, yeah, and so that's really the big difference in the last 10, 15 years is the majors. Have, I, I won the U.S. Open. I think I won a grand total of $60,000. Yeah. That's not a lot compared to today. But and, and it's also not a lot, and I say this with all possible respect, because if Roger Federer has made 109 million, what's the uh, multiplier for how much he's made off the court? Yeah, it works pretty well. I just want to go back to what's a bigger, what's <laughs> you, a bigger. You, did, you didn't answer, but okay. No, no but what's what's? I'm just curious. So, what's the bigger surprise to you guys? Is it Burdick nine or Ferrer at seven? Or Without is it, either one winning a Grand Slam? Or is it that Becker has none left? Oh, wow. That's uh, it's okay. in the news. What do you want? It's, I didn't spend it. He's, you know, it's, we wish Boris a healthy financial recovery. And a healthy body. And exactly. Everything. Exactly. We he's hope. had some injuries. He's had surgery. So. Here, so I put together another couple of names for you and, and just to show how much the prize. And so you, sometimes you equate money earned to Grand Slam titles. One, how the eras have changed, right? John McEnroe, seven Grand Slam titles, career prize money, $12 million. Bjorn Borg, 11 Grand Slam titles, career prize money, $3 million. Rod Laver, 11 Grand Slam titles, career prize money, $1.5 million. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Times are and, changing. And Chrissy Everett, I'm just going to throw in a, out a woman's name because um, she's won 18, and I think she's at 8 or $9 million. Goodness. Martina Navratilova, she played a little longer and played some doubles as well. She's, I think, $21 million. I hope all of those players on that list of 10 are thanking all those players that came before for all the money they're making now. We'll